Here are four effective edits for your Fortnite playbook. Presented by Fortnite Master. Editing has become an integral part of many engagements in Fortnite. As players have begun to edit more frequently, some creative edits have stood out as extremely effective in certain situations. This video covers four effective edits that you can use to get kills, confuse your opponents, and keep yourself safe on rotations. Without wasting any more time, let's get started. Our first edit of this video is a ramp flip, one of the fastest and most versatile edits you'll find yourself using frequently. A really common situation where you would use this is when you're standing on a ramp and there's someone underneath it that you want to shoot. Flipping your ramp on your enemies in these scenarios tend to be a mix up from cutting the ramp in half, which may help you catch them off guard. Flipping a ramp can also save you an extra build if you're trying to get on top of a platform above you as well. The most common way to do a ramp flip is to click and drag on the center of the ramp and pull your mouse down towards you and hit the edit button once you're on the upper section of it. It's a great simple flick that's easy to learn. When you're clicking and dragging, it works best to click on one corner of the center edit block and drag it to the opposite corner. The most important thing about this technique is that when you hit edit on the ramp, you wanna be somewhere in the upper half of it. If you don't, you'll fall through the ramp which will more likely end with you being in a sticky scenario. A less common way to do the ramp flip is actually using pyramids. When you edit a pyramid by clicking the two adjacent squares, it forms a ramp that you can use. You can use this in place of a regular ramp when attempting a high ground retake. Since pyramids provide more protection than a conventional ramp, players will sometimes place a cone for protection while ramping up. They will then edit the cone into a ramp and then flip it to gain the high ground advantage. Though this isn't the fastest retake, it is a unique way to retake high ground when you have the time to consider your options and want to confuse your enemies. Doing a pyramid flip requires an extra step than a normal one. You would hit edit, reset the edit, then make the necessary changes before hitting the edit button again. It's a little tricky as most players will instinctively hit the edit key right after the reset step, so it'll be a bit of muscle memory training before you can do it consistently. The second edit we'd like to show you is the L ramp edit, which we've seen used by Speedy Gonzalez. This edit is one of the more unconventional edits and may catch some people off guard. This edit turns your ramp into stairs with railings that you can use for cover while also maintaining high ground, making it hard for anyone to push you to get a good shot at you. Additionally, the edit gives you a good right hand peek angle you can use while staying within partial cover, allowing you to line up a headshot before peeking them. This edit is best used when you're stuck in a corner, usually in the basement or in a one by one room in a house or someone is pushing you. To do the edit, move to the bottom right corner of the ramp, click on that corner of the ramp and drag it into an L shape towards the left and away from you. Make sure you're standing on one of the corners that you start and end on or else you'll fall through and be super vulnerable. You can also place a wall for additional protection. The direction in which you drag is super important because that determines the direction which the stairs lead up. Always make sure that you click on the corner to the right and drag it to the left or else you'll lose the ability to right hand peek, which is a super crucial part of this technique. Something important to note is that while you do have good cover, you're still not invulnerable to the person who is pushing you. The person who is pushing you is still able to hurt you if they've got decent aim. You have to make good use of the time the edit buys you or else you'll probably get finished off. For our third edit, we have a pyramid phasing trick that is extremely useful in turtling situations, especially while outdoors or in a one by one. Pyramid edits are some of the most versatile in turtling scenarios and tend to provide you with a lot of options for cover, blocking any shots coming from the front and the side of your choosing. What makes pyramids special is that when you reset a pyramid's edit but don't finalize the change, you're able to see everything that's happening in front of you while remaining undercover. This feature allows you to easily pre-aim your shot, allowing you to almost instantly get a free headshot on a target pushing you without much else they can do. This becomes really useful in situations where you know that your enemy can only approach from one direction, which is why it's one of the best indoor fighting strats in the game. While you can also peek this way using ramps, pyramids are much better because their default state allows you to take a clean shot at whoever's pushing you, while allowing you to crouch behind cover instantly after taking the shot. Furthermore, it's very easy to do quick edits with pyramids that give you room to outplay your enemy, whereas ramps have bulkier edits which tend to involve more camera movement and slower inputs. For our final editing tip of this video, we would like to show you the rotated ramp cover. 
This is the easiest editing strategy to recreate and execute in this video, and requires very little technical skill to do. The rotated ramp cover is an easy way to block enemy fire coming at you from a specific direction, while you're trying to make a rotation in an open area. Unlike building walls, the ramp cover also protects you from shots coming from above. All this strategy involves is rotating a ramp before you build it, then holding down left click slightly to the side which you're getting shot from. No extra tricks. One thing you should look out for is how quickly this strap burns through your mats. Each ramp costs 10 materials, so if you don't have much to begin with, you need to be careful that you don't overuse this strat. Thank you guys once again for watching this video. If you have any questions, concerns, or suggestions, feel free to leave them in the comments section below. If you haven't done so already, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell to be alerted whenever we release a new video. If you love our content, feel free to share it with your friends, family, distant relatives, your dog, or any other loved ones. From all of us at Fortnite Master, my name is The Saved One, and we're out. Peace.